Good day everybody. We got an interesting question. So foremost, let me draw the square. So we have a square. And the only good thing about this question is that we've been given a square. So I'm trying my best to have this uh, square. If there are any slips, just ignore it. Okay. So you've got A, B, C, D, and then You've been given the following. Okay. So this is the diagonal, and the side of the square is given to be as A units. Right? So this is going to be A, this is going to be A. Obviously, this is A, this is A. Now, each of this angle is 90 degree, 90, 90, 90, and exactly at D, we got the diagonal, so let me draw the diagonal, and So this being the diagonal, so there is a split. This is 45 degree, this is 45 degree. Now according to the figure, there is an angle bisector. So the 45 degree is actually divided by means of a bisector. And that bisector is hitting the point over here. At this point F. So we are expected to find FB. So let me change this to FB. And what we have been given, we have been given this is E and this point is G. GE is given to be a six units. And this is the figure and we are expected to find FB. This distance has to be found. Now, since this being the square, the length of the diagonal is going to be root 2 times A. That's by formula, right? In fact, if you are going to be utilizing Pythagoras, you are still going to be ending up with root 2 times A. So, what I wish to do is, I would like to write that down. Now, AC is equal to BD and that is going to be equal to root of 2 times A. Right? Now we do not know what is the value of A. Now next, E is the midpoint. E is the midpoint. So since E is the midpoint, this means DE will be equal to EB which in turn will be equal to EC which in turn would be equal to EA and we know that this is the diagonal right so E is the midpoint and that means this point E is exactly in the center so that would mean the entire length root of 2 divided by a has to be divided by 2 so root of 2 times a is divided by 2 which is nothing but a over root 2 because 2 is equal to root of 2 times root of 2 and if i were to place here a root 2 will be cancelled from the numerator right and that would give us a over root 2 so this is a very valid point now what i wish to apply here is that since df as an angle bisector, I will be utilizing the angle bisector theorem. 
So that would mean, according to the angle bisector theorem, this AG divided by GE will be equal to DA divided by DE. Right now, this is given to be a six unit. So we can utilize this particular formula. Now, AG, what is the value for AG? Do we have a value for AG? We don't have a value for AG, but we have a value for DA. So let me write the value for DA. DA is A and then DE is midway that's going to be a over root 2 so this is a over root 2 and GE is going to be 6 so from here I can get the value of AG so AG is got right so if I were to flip this I can write that down here AG is equal to A and A gets cancelled so root 2 will go to the numerator and there is a 6 there so I can multiply that so AG is going to be 6 times root 2. So that is got. So from here, we can proceed to use the same angle bisector, right? By utilizing the angle bisector, I would be able to again get a similar ratio. And then I will be in a position to evaluate FB. So let me do that. Now, before we could proceed on with the side AF and FB, clearly we can see that AG is 6 times root 2, right? So let me calculate the value of AE. AE or EA is equal to A over root 2. So let me write that down here. We have found AG to be equal to 6 times root 2 and from figure AE is equal to AG plus GE now AG is 6 into root 2 GE is 6 so this is going to be 6 times or 6 of root 2 plus 1 this is my AE right but AE or EA is A over root 2. So, but AE A, A, is A over root 2. So, this would mean I got A over root 2 is equal to 6 times or 6 of root 2 positive 1. Now, from here we can get the value of A. So, this would mean A is equal to 6 times root 2 of root 2 plus 1. You can add this as the value of A. Right. So now what I wish to do is I would like to apply the angle bisector theorem for D A B with D F being the angle bisector. So if I were to apply that what would be the situation? So let me let me utilize this space so that you will be able to have the figure in your frame. So this is going to be AF divided by FB is equal to DA over DB. Now this is the diagonal and that value is given to be as A times root 2. Right. The, because this is A, this is this entire length is going to be A. So this diagonal is going to be A times root 2. So I am going to write that down. Since DB is a diagonal, this means, uh, okay, since DB is a diagonal, this means DB is equal to root 2 times A or you can write it as A times root 2. And if I were to take this as sum 2, so this would mean, I can state like this, 2 means AF, do I know the value of AF? I have to find the value of AF 
and let me just write that AF for the time being. AF is returned down divided by FB. I need to find FB. Now this is equal to DA. What is my value of DA? Now DA is A units and DB is A into root 2. So this would mean you got AF over FB is equal to 1 over root 2. Right? But we need to get the value of AF. What is that? So from here AF is equal to FB over root 2. Okay, that's fine. Now let's go back to the figure. Now AB is a side of the square, right? So clearly I can write AB to be equal to AF plus FB. Do you agree? You can always write, right? The side of the square is nothing but AF plus FB. So that's exactly what we are going to be utilizing. Okay, so I'm going to state it here. Since AB is equal to AF plus FB and AB is equal to A, A is the side of the square and AF is nothing but FB divided by root 2 positive FB but A has been found. What's the value of A? A is nothing but 6 times root 2 of root 2 plus 1. So let me write that down. 6 times root 2 of root 2 plus 1 is equal to, I can take FB out and I would get 1 over root 2 plus 1. This would mean I get FB, root 2 is the LCM. So this is going to give me 1 plus root 2. On the left, I get 6 times root 2 times root 2 plus 1. So root 2 plus 1 and 1 plus root 2 can be cancelled. I need to get FB. So root 2 can be multiplied here. I can use the space. So this is going to be 6 times root 2 multiplied with root 2 is equal to FB. So therefore, FB is equal to root 2 times root 2 is going to be 2 multiplied with 6 which is equal to 12 units. So FB is 12 units and this is exactly what is required. So this is 12 units and this is what is required and that is the end of this particular question. I hope you all enjoyed this question. Until we meet again, good night.